Hey, welcome back to my channel. I want to do a very quick video showing you how to calibrate a AMD FX120i lab balance. A uh, really quick process. The only thing you're going to need is a Class F1 uh, 100 gram calibration weight. Uh, fairly cheap, about 18 bucks off of eBay. And I've had this uh, checked against a, a four decimal uh, lab balance and it was within Class F1 uh, spec. So uh, if you buy these uh, from uh, within the States, it's about $100 for this calibration weight or about 80, 90, you know, around that range. But off of eBay through China, the same calibration, certified calibration weight is about 18 bucks. So anyway, let's get to it. Um, have your scale powered on. You press and hold the Cal button for about three seconds and you release it when it reads Cal out on the display. Now, uh, it'll read Cal zero. You press and let go of the print button and you wait until the scale changes to 100. Now it's asking for a 100 gram calibration weight. You place your calibration weight on the scale and you press the print button and you wait until it displays end. When it displays end, you turn off the unit with the on off button remove the weight and power the unit back on now it's calibrated um we can let's see gram we can put the weight back on there to check the calibration all right so it's reading one milligram oh no there we go it's settled so it's reading 100 grams it's a little drafty in here also, I got the windows open. Um, but your scale is basically now calibrated. That's about it. You can remove the calibration weight and get on your merry way of using your calibrated scale. Now, from what I've found, these scales don't lose calibration like Charge Masters do. Um, I check it about once a week and I'm always within one milligram of the calibrated weight, which is not enough to recalibrate it all over again. Uh, these scales are really, really good about holding their calibration. Like I said, I have the front cover off right now. It's a little drafty in here. So that's why there's a little bit of a fluctuation. Plus my cell phone is really, really close to it. I'm recording this video on my cell phone. Uh, normally there is absolutely no fluctuation in here because I have the windows closed when I'm uh, using it. So it's ultra stable. Uh, but that's about it. Really quick, simple process. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions.